Have you just gone out and bought some new tech and you don't have enough USB ports? That's where this comes in handy. The box is pretty basic to be honest, it's just a white box, it says Ultra Slim USB 3.0 Data Hub, on the back it pretty much says the same thing in different languages, and it's got a little tick mark next to the model which is H40, and a tick box next to where it says Port USB A. So we've got the device here, we haven't shown what's in the box, video or anything like that, because this is all what's in there, other than a little plastic bag, what went around the main part. You've got the cable on here, which is built into it, this is 60 centimetres long, it is a USB Type 3 connection on the end, which you can see because it's below, that means it's USB Type 3, and it's an A-type connection, which means it plugs in traditional laptops, PCs and so forth. It does have a little tie back here, so you can tidy your cables up if you want to take it somewhere and the device itself you've got the manufacturer's name on the top it's got an led strip there showing you it's powered on and in use you've got four little feet on the bottom otherwise that's pretty much it now you do have three ports here usb type 3 there and usb type 3 on the other side making it four ports in total now one thing to remember is just because you've got four ports doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be able to use them all. It's all down to the wattage of the devices you're using because this cable, or should I say USB three ports in general, will only work at four and a half watts. So if you've got, let's say, an external hard drive plugged in here, and then an external DVD drive, a USB pen, and then something else like a keyboard and mouse in the other connection, it may struggle picking them all up properly because the devices you've plugged in all use more than four and a half watts. So that might cause issues. Now this is a five gigabits per second device, which basically means it can transfer around about 600, maybe 650 megabytes per second in reality. And again, if the cable or the connection can only support that speed, if you've got two devices transferring data at the same time, obviously it's not gonna be able to do that full speed on both of those devices if they do go at those speeds. So if you've got two external solid state drives plugged in and you're wanting to transfer data back and forth, only a maximum of 650 megabytes per second will be able to be transferred at any one time. So it will slow both devices down. But otherwise, that's it. It's a pretty basic device. Doesn't do a huge amount, to be honest with you. It just gives you more USB ports on your PC. So ideal if you need to add an extra mouse, memory stick, or even external drive on there. Okay, so we're gonna plug this into a USB 3 port on the side of our laptop or a PC, obviously. If you haven't got a USB 3 port, you can still use this in a USB 2 port, but it just won't allow the devices to run as fast. And sometimes if you've got too many devices, it may not be enough power to power them all, just obviously depends on what you're plugging in. But if you've got USB 3 or 3.1, 3.2, 3.12, and whatever hell they wanna call all the different ones is around these days, it should work fine. So you just plug in the devices one at a time. I'm gonna plug in this mouse mat first, which has got RGB lighting, just to see if it does light up and there's enough power for that. Get it the right way around. There we go. And as you can see, it's gone purple. And if I press the button on it, it'll let us go between different colors and so forth. And that's working absolutely fine. So next I'm gonna plug in a memory stick. So let me plug that one in and it's picked up. You can see on the screen there, it just picked up. I'll just unplug it again and back in just so you can see that does pick it up. Don't worry about the uh, security things popping up on the side. It's just saying, do we want to check the device to make sure if it's got no viruses on. Next, I'm going to plug in this keyboard. This is a pudding keyboard, which basically means it's got lots of RGB lighting and effects on it. So we're going to plug that in, see if there's enough power for that. As you can see, it's all lit up now and it'll go through a few different effects and stuff. Let's see if it actually works. There was a Windows key. So there you go. If I press the Windows key, as you can see, it is popping up absolutely fine. Let me just go back to this PC there. So as you can see, the memory stick is still picking up. Now I'm going to get the external hard drive we've got here. This is a two terabyte external hard drive. I'm going to plug that into the other side. So that's using all four ports now. And we're going to see if it picks up on here. Bear in mind, external hard drives do take a few seconds to pick up because the mechanical disk, what's inside them, has to get up to speed before it picks up. And there you go. It's just picked it up there. So it is working. And if I unplug it, you'll see it disappear again after a second there you go and then if I plug it back in 
just give it a few seconds to spin back up to speed and it'll pop up again so it's able to cope with all these things the rgb lighting is still working on the actual keyboard there you go you can see the hard drive's picked up now the rgb lighting's also working on the mouse map and you can see both the usb drive and the external hard drive we've plugged in and they're working fine I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.